What's up everybody, it's James from James Chipped House. Today's video is not going to start with animals, it's going to start with some custom vans I ordered. Now, my worst shoes were getting jacked up, and my nice walking around going out family event shoes were chewed up in the back because my old dog. They are still nice, but it was just a little bit, it was kind of annoying. And so, what I did is I custom ordered some vans that are going to be my new nice shoes. My old nice shoes that are a little messed up are going to be my new work shoes and my old work shoes are gonna be trash. So, with these in mind, I did not get super nice ones, super crazy colorful, I got high tops, and I got something simple that shows, hey, it's me, I'm cool, I'm James. Uh, a little disappointed the box is all jacked up, but, but let's get into it. So this is my Delta Defender knife. Uh, I got this in one of those, it's like a loot crate, but it's for tactical gear. I used to be subscribed to like two different ones. And then I had to move out of my mom's house and I got broke. So if you'd like to see me sign up for that and do a video on that like once a month, that'd be really cool. I'd really love to do that. I love tactical gear, even though I don't go out and do anything. It's just cool to have, it's interesting. You get a lot of stuff you don't know exists. So if you'd like to see that, it's probably something I'd want to do in the future again. Just as like a, not animal related, but something to add to the channel. custom bands. Thank you for supporting our heritage with your Vans custom made order. Vans customs have been a tradition since 1966 and over 50 years later Vans continues to offer original custom made products. I did not know they've been doing custom Vans for 50 years. That's pretty crazy. Hopefully these fit but you can see there that's kind of uh, what we got in store. I love this bag. Custom made for you. Ooh, that color's dope. That color's, it's lighter than I thought it would be, which actually looks really good. Look at that. That's awesome. These shoes are look amazing. Size 11. I'll have to lace these up and probably at the end of the video I'll show a clip of me wearing them and hopefully they're the right size. I fed my ball pythons this morning. They didn't eat last week. I just want to make sure that they ate. I fed them and it looked like they were both eating but then I had to make it work. So this is Steve's enclosure. Steve definitely ate. I thought that was a, uh, I was probably between a medium and a large rat, and I wasn't really sure if Steve was ready to eat something that big. Steve, we're pretty sure, is a boy. Um, it was my girlfriend's and her family's, and then when she moved in, we brought him with, just because I had one and I know how to take care of animals, so. Ooh, he got his water bowl dirty. I just gave him fresh water this morning, too. And, or she, I guess, TJ ate as well. Awesome. I'm sure they were both hungry after not eating last week. So, that's awesome. What else do I got to check up on today? Uh... Alright, so I want to check on some geckos I moved yesterday. Why did I grab this tub? Oh yeah. This one, I separated on its own. It's getting... It was getting like a, like not super big, but it was getting to the point where I had an extra tub and I had extra foliage. Why not separate it and let it grow really, really well? Looks like it's doing well. I can't really see that it's eaten, but it's so small, it's, like, you wouldn't really tell it anyway. That little boy's name, or that little unsexed baby's name is Omni, and I got that from Pangea. 
Pangea is really cool. You can wholesale a bunch of geckos. And the more you buy at once, the cheaper the price they give you. So that's cool. If you're not breeding yet, but you want to be able to spend a couple hundred dollars and get a bunch of geckos. These two I put in a bigger enclosure. He's climbing up my arm. Hold on. <laughs> now, they're a little small, but they'll definitely grow into it. Where's the other one? There it is. That's a race car. Race car's a little bit bigger. When I move them into these bigger ones that have the actual gecko ledges on them, for the first couple feedings and like times I handle them, I like to show them where the food is. I like to boop their snoot. <laughs> I like to put their, their nose in it. See him looking it up. Now he knows, oh, that's the food. And maybe if he's hungry, he'll go right back there and get some more food. But anyway, I got one more enclosure I want to look at here. So while I was cleaning out yesterday, I must have missed it, but this little baby gecko I hatched out dropped its tail. And this is the first gecko I've had that's dropped its tail on me. Or not on me, but like, while well, I had it. Its name's Winona. It was hatched 916. And if we just take a look, you can see it heals up really nice. I mean, you can't see because I'm using a cell phone. But. Calm down. You can't tell, but it's all healed up. Gecko's doing fine. I must have accidentally thrown the tail away when I was cleaning the enclosure. Sometimes that's the way it be. Now when a gecko drops its tail a crested gecko, they actually don't grow it back like leopards or fat tails. But it doesn't mean a whole lot in terms of the gecko's health. Also, unlike bat tails and leopards, they don't store any nu nutrients in their tail, really. It just kind of helps them. It has an extra little pad on the back that grips stuff and it helps them balance. But without his tail, he'll be just fine. He'll just have to learn how to maneuver without it, which isn't hard. Um, for the, the value of the gecko, probably drops like five ten dollars depending some people even like frog butts better uh that's gonna be it for that i might show you some more animals and then i'm gonna show you my shoes they're actually really comfortable and i could totally see myself wearing them on like a date with my girlfriend if we're going out to dinner for hanging out with her friends and i'm at like a family event they're super comfortable and they're actually really my style so i'll show you some other stuff and i'll show you the shoes Here are my two boys, Malloy and Big Boy. Let's see if I get that to focus. They're always sitting in the same exact spots. Um, I don't know if it gets too warm in the back for them, but this is the top shelf. And my rack's sitting at 89, which isn't too hot for a leopard gecko, so I'm not really sure. Maybe they're just big and they don't want it to adjust fast. They don't want to grow too much. Lefty and righty, always doing awesome. I... Named him Lefty and Righty. Righty's missing his right hand. Lefty's missing his left. Because I'm kind of cool, cruel like that. And I think Righty's the nicer one. Lefty does that. Runs away. Doesn't want to eat off the tongs. They're just both spazzes. Uh, let's see. What else do we got? There's... There's Pearl. I almost sold Pearl the other day. Actually, I almost traded her for some tree frogs. The lady offered me two tree frogs. She offered me a couple different things. And when I said I'd take the tree frogs because she didn't have cash, she goes, well, I don't want to sell tree frogs. And I'm like, but you just offered them to me. She's like, yeah, but they're nice. And I was like, obviously she was expecting me to offer her the gecko plus some other stuff, maybe some money or some other stuff. And I wasn't really looking to do that. I wasn't trying to make or spend any money. I was just trying to make a couple bucks or get a cool trade. 
but people on the internet are weird, man. You need to be careful with them. Uh, this one, I'm hoping it'll put on a little bit of weight soon. Hopefully it sheds out and puts on some weight soon. Because I want her to breed next year. She won't be ready. There's no way she'll be ready. It's, what, July? August, September, October, November. December, I'm going to cool them in December. That's only five months to get her up to weight. Pearl hatched the 49th or 419. That Google hatched 6 6. So, the Pearl's only that big at two months. There's no way. But that girl down there, just by looking at her, I can almost guarantee you she's going to be head patternless. So, I want to breed her back to that male, prove her out, and get some pattern, head patternless, some patternless, some head patternless white out. It's a patternless whiteout, which patternless whiteout is what I want. That's what the dad is. I'll probably, I'll try to get two of them, keep one back as a female and sell the other one and make like five, six hundred bucks. That'd be pretty good if I'm not lying. Here are my new kicks. They look really good with the black socks. I don't have to, actually I have some teal socks. I think that look really good, teal socks. I'd have to get a pair of these socks that are like this light blue though. But they fit nice. They're comfortable. They're really supporting my ankles. I don't want to bend them too much because they're brand new. But they look killer, dude. I can't wait to wear them out at night. Anyway, that's it for today's video. If you liked it, if you enjoyed it, if you want to see more of my animals, check me out on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. I don't really post on, but if someone follows me on Twitter, I'll probably just start posting on Twitter. Uh, you can ask me questions at gmail.com, jamesjeptiles at gmail.com. Like, subscribe, comment, share with your friends, and have a good rest of your day.